Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Amnesia uh, custom story. This one is called uh, The Devil's Anvil, and apparently this is about a group. This is, uh, I think, takes place during the Battle of Verdun. You are Christophe de Roche, a field medic on a mission to send aid to a fort neighboring Verdun. On the way, the rest of the unit was wiped clean by enemy German force. You're on the survivor, of course I am. The uh, okay, I didn't get to read that. Now, but you can just pause and read it if you want. You don't need me to tell you that though. Oh shoot! Waking up in the water. Okay. All right. Oh, that is a human leg. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of lockers here, so what do we got anything useful? Nothing. Nothing. a uh, whole lot of what I could only describe as nothing. So, that's cool. Do I have anything in my inventory? I do not. Ooh, flashlight. In a brick? Okay. Okay. Two doors here. Alright. So, uh, I guess I'll go. I'll be brave. I'll go in the deep dark one first. Stick. Okay. A flare, a key, fuel. That sure was the right place. Alright. Got everything in here. So I got some bullets. So is there gonna be a gun in here? Fuel. Okay. A stick. Bandages. Okay. I don't have a lighter, so I can't. Use the uh, stick and cloth. Oh, yeah, oh, that's the key thing. Uh, we need help. If anyone who reads this, uh, we're locked uh, away in the lower four and are in need of assistance. Our man, uh, Munir, is the only one alive who knows the code to get in. Unfortunately, he made a mad dash out of the front entrance. Hopefully he's still alive. I cannot write the code down on the paper for it. It is too much of a risk. There is a key that opens the door in the cellar behind you. Get that and make it way to us. Please, you're our only hope. Trembly. You got it, buddy. I got you. I'm here to help. That's a big freaking key. Okay, more fuel, a Granado, a med kit, bullets, bandage. Uh, well, if anything, I'll take this fuel. Ooh, save. Nice. Depends of stuff, okay. Alright, got a note here. Bottles, okay, oh yeah. Word of leave, uh, 10th uh, of February, 1916. There's speculation that we're going to be pulled out any day now. Though I have my doubts everyone will be going with. Half the walls I, I go down seem to have at least several shells of men plagued by one ailment or another. Lame, deaf, uh, dumb, or blind. And that's not counting the overflow in that nightmare of a hospital. Suppose we got enough wagons to pull them out because of what little automobiles we have left are out of commission. Thinking about it now, some of our spears that were here yesterday are missing uh, all, missing all, all of a sudden. 
missing all of a sudden, but there were no orders given to launch a counteroffensive of any kind. Uh, I have a sinking feeling that I know what the general consensus is about staying in this place, but what are the odds that you have an unlucky encounter with artillery and live to tell the tale to your comrades? At this rate, they're all, they'll be the only ones who will believe you. Holding my post is the only thing I can believe to be true. Okay, pocket bag. Nice. In my gun. Nice. Another note. Okay. We have this. Nice. Put the stick in there. This, this, and this. I'll go back and grab all the stuff. Bottles, which is conveniently just right here. Med kit, bandage. this uh, I'll keep a bandage on me just in case all right so what Let's the generator okay pocket watch all right Maybe get the fuel Really empty. Alright. Okay, let's turn the baby on. Got my revolver here. Any ammo? Nope, but I got four bullets, so. Alright. Cool. Can we come most, uh, most obstacles? I sure can. Okay. Let's see, communications, munitions. I like the sound of munitions, so I'm gonna go this way. Ooh. Munitions, all right. What we got? Oh, Jesus. Note to self, traps do exist. Okay? Just wanna let you know that. Okay, how to access the artillery? Whoa, buddy. My friend, you're getting closer to your goal. Although we had to take precautions yet again, you see. The only way to get through the to communications behind this gate. We left the tool to bypass this gate in the pantry down in the barracks where we are. With this wheel, uh, you can get past the gate and move on to the communication room. We're counting on you. And there was that other thing right here. No more to communicate. Can you hear me? Can you hear me calling to you? He shouts blood a drop from his ears over and over again. Those were his last words from DuPont, recalled hearing from comms officer Men Menier as he ran out of the fort. It makes a man wonder if, if uh, the shattering of their eardrums were a blessing or a curse. Were such circumstances self-inflicted or bestowed upon him? I'm getting rather sick of attempting to translate what each scream coming from down the halls from behind closed doors is supposed to mean. What do I understand, given the officer's absence, is that we are without proper knowledge of communicating to command. If there's any command that can be reached through this chaos. Uh, hell is all flavors of torment. If the shrills don't break you, the heat above or humid chill below will. How DuPont keeps optimistic through all this, I would never know, you crazy bastard. Alright. So. Okay. So, I need to go down to the barracks to get the bolt cutters so I can get the wheel to go down to the communications. 
Got it. I think they're gonna go anytime soon. Okay, let's just get you. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. This place is actually surprisingly big. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. All the bullets. Cool. Okay. Alright, well, I got the snow. I think I'm in the barracks now. So, a visit from Dupont. Corporal Dupont came by debated with a bowl of watery soup, real bottom of the pot, and told me to warm it over the fire the best I could. When I asked for the usual woe that often comes with our meals, he said they were fresh out. The remaining left hardly fresh. Other than the vermin. I told him to get out of my sight with the ad act, and he commented on how a man cannot live on bread alone. Anyways, word right here is that we want that uh, we won we won't be expecting any new surplus for at least another week, including food and medical aid. Jesus. Seems like DuPont's words take on a whole new meaning, don't they? Looks like tonight will be another uh, night without a meal to put me to sleep or enough to allow me to think of anything more to write about other than the victory banquet upon my return home. Okay, well the guy is like right there. Okay. Fresh thing of nothing. Fantastic. Can't even go in there. I will just check over here. Oh yeah, this door open. Door is. This place is way bigger. This this mod is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Open too. Oh, 
Turn the lights on. There's no fuel. Okay. Get this little corner bash in thing. Nope, this is just a dead end. Okay. Fantastic. This got opened up. Bunch of uh, artillery shells. Fantastic. Hover ammo. Grenade. Fuel bottle. Pocket bag. This thing. Med kit. Bravo bullets. Thank you. I'm looking for fuel though. Bandage, cloth, uh, fuel. Not seeing any fuel. But I will take these things. Alright, then no. Um, okay. The German army advances. 21st of February, 1916. Seems rumors of increased German movement across the border is true after all. According to the reports, Verdun appears to be their target. If the amount of times the sector east of here has been bombarded is anything to go by, most of the wounded bunked up here are fresh from the front, many of which apparently fell victim to, the, to chlorine. I managed to ask one what was happening in the woods beyond, and all he told me was, I cannot unsee the things I witnessed. Can't blame him. I was being glued shot by all that blood and us amazing what a man's capable of do what man is capable of doing. Here's hoping that I won't suffer a similar fate. Oh, it's gonna be worse. There'd be monsters in the dark. Okay, so I need to find the barracks. There's nothing over here. That's just a couple of beds. Doesn't really count, I guess. Munitions is over there. So what's over here? Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Supply exit. Okay. Can't get in over there. So has to be back here. Exit. What's this place? Supply room? Oh, that's been blocked. Okay. Oh, shoot. That is actually an exit. Okay. Ooh, hey. 
Uh, you'll be fine, right? Yeah, you're all right. You're 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 one tough cookie. I think I just killed him. I'm gonna go last save. Just, just, just real quick. All right. There's a gas grenade right there. Do not trip it. You big dumb idiot. I told you to watch out for traps, but you did the exact opposite and tried to trigger all the traps. Can't get in there anyway. No, you're fine. No, you're fine. It's okay. I'll right back for you. I think fine. Oh, here we go. This must be the barracks. Pocket bag. And there goes the power. Okay, the walls are crumbling. Ignorance is bliss, so they say. But suppose how long our superiors think these walls are going to keep the Germans from penetrating our outer defenses. We were told this place was considered impenetrable by its masons, and yet reality is slowly causing those mists to crumble to dust. It only took one well-placed volley to blast the hole in the side of the floor. If, fr <clears throat> if Fritz were anywhere uh, close to the impact zone once it cleared, they would have been crawling like rats towards our bunks as we attempted to get any rest in this hole. Then again, what death is worse? Our throats are slit in slumber or being burned alive by, by bombards and blunders alike. A tomb this place would be either way. Save the petals of the memorial. Resume. Resume? Resume? I don't know. I don't speak French. I don't really know how to pronounce that. Get up, gun. Pantry. Here we go. Said it was hidden in the pantry. Or maybe it's hidden in the bunks next to the pantry. I don't know. Later. Perfect. Note. Cloth. How we treat prisoners of war. Uh, as the old saying goes, actions have consequences, and that can go both ways. Second class, Sergeant Bear has taken a liking to the old one-two on the German scout we caught a few days ago, and something possessed him to show me how an example is made of those who wish to burn our heritage. In hindsight, we should we should have just shot the guy. Oh, we had the chance because truthfully the idea of deserving straps on hot coals seems a bit out of the question the sergeant thinks of this punishment as appropriate to hans torching of our force though such a punishment burns a lot deeper than the earth outside better make sure to keep this journal all close to me after tonight this is what i deserve for being so careless with it a note for christoph otherwise known as uh me Remember how we were told uh, scary stories when we were younger about dragons dwelling in a dark, in dark and dank castles? Well, you know how much, uh, well, you know as uh, as much as I do that dragons are real, real. But the dark and but the dark and dank castle part is, is as undesirable as the stories describe them as. I can support I can support their point because I'm practically sitting in one right now. That has a right to you. It's called Fort Name. <sighs> what a name! And there isn't a single knight that can penetrate it. No matter Frank nor or Norman, 
Uh, well, except this flu that I caught while I held it up here, and it's only been a week since I arrived. Jokes aside, I'm doing fine where I'm currently stationed. Uh, the word around here says that Fritz might take an effort to strike this region any week now. Uh, as I as said before, though, this place is built quite sturdy, and I assure you, our defensive positions are strong enough to make any hard German think twice about stepping on our soil. Anyways, I hope this message gets to you as soon as I can, and I wait any more questions you might have. Your brother, Marcel. Oh my god, there's so much reading. <laughs> First off. Finally found another opportunity to write to you, and just in time, too, because me and the rest of our unit just caught ourselves a kraut. One of the artillery boys heard him crawling up above while catching some shut-eye. After calling for the rest of us, we got him locked up. Uh, we suspect he's some sort of scout, meaning that Germans are getting closer. I hope you can receive my last letter addressed to you safely uh, that Fort name was incapable of being penetrated. Well, as far as I know, this statement still rings true. Uh, that being said, we are more alert now that we got we've got enemy scouts creeping around our heads. So a doubled midnight watch is giving me a good kicking. I uh, bet you're glad you're not doing with a conundrum like this, eh? I reckon that having you posted uh, here would make us would make the both of us sleep easier at night. Until then, stay strong. You might not hear from me for a while, but know that we'll both make it home in one piece. We're brother Marcel, most likely dead. Most likely dead. Okay, and that just leads to there. Okay. Keeping this, but I'm taking this. I'm gonna do that real quick. A uh, little bit of a kind of confusion here. All right. Pocket bag. I read your note. There's nothing really in here, actually. Okay. Whoa. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I need a brick to smash that open. Oh, right there. Okay, well, that's kind of stupid. They still managed to get me, though. Okay, um, cool, there's the brick, I'm just gonna, it's a flare, there we go, perfect. Nothing in there though, so fantastic, I'll put you right there. Oh, I just fall off, that's fine. Don't trigger the grenade. Turn the lights on, please. Oh, that's pretty cool. What was that? Uh, stuff and things. Basically, a whole lot of nothing. Ooh. Alright, where's that brick? There you are. Give me you. Nope. Cool. All right. No. I... 
There we go. Alright, what we got in here? The bolt cutters. Here we go. Alright. So now that I got those, I can progress. Actually, I might be. I can probably cut the traps now, can't I? Okay, uh, let me just put you on two and you on three. Okay. There you go, there's a gas grenade. Emergency lockdown, okay. Right, I probably need to. Look, the emergency lockdown. To get you out of there. Sorry, buddy. I'll come back for you. Okay. Alright. Get out of my way. Maybe I can unlock this thing. Poop. What we got in here that's so important? A gas mask. Okay. Fantastic. I guess I will keep that. I'll put you away. Uh, and then... The other thing I need this for was over here. Just screams of people dying. Not a big deal. Ah, then I can get the valve over here. That's right. Thought there's another door though. Okay. I don't need that, but I appreciate the thought. Uh, what about up here? Was it up here? So that, that other way was a dead end, so I don't think I need this here. I could have sworn there's one more place I could use this, though. That's also a dead end. Uh, what about... That's a dead end over there. I got this valve. We're all fine and dandy. You don't need to panic, alright? Everything. You might need to panic a little bit. Maybe just a little panic is okay. Shut up, I need to hear it. Get us home. Get us home. Get us home. Get us 
fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. You don't need to worry about it. Everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. You're fine. You're okay. We'll be the big baby. Oh god. It's fine. Stop screaming so I don't go away. God dang it, guy. You're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine, German guy. Don't even worry about it. Listen, if you would shut up, it would go away, okay? Oh god. Don't even look at the blend table that way. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. It's gone. There's a note here. I'm gonna take a look at this note real quick. How to get past the gate. Uh, we are just upon uh, this gate. You're getting close to make sure we are safe in here. We are locked away the means to open this gate in the artillery. You obtain the wheel kept safe through there to get through. I got that. Uh, two prisoners. The walls are crumbling. Uh, fine catch. Uh, Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I got the thing. We need help. Uh, we need a code. And... I got the one other thing. So everything's fine. God dang it, dude. Go away. Yeah, Does the revolver look kind of different? Or is it just me? Is that thing just walking in circles over there? circles. Okay, well, let's have fun doing that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go 
this way. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. We gotta get through. Oh, that was just that one way. Okay, so I could've... Okay, fantastic. Okay, so that's the code. The place I need to get... It's what I need the code for. That's what I'm trying to say. Can't get past there for some reason. Um... So, notes. Uh, behind this gate, Beth Tuba passes gate in the pantry, down the barracks, with this wheel you can move on to the communications room. Uh, there is a key that opens this door in the cellar behind you, get that, make your way to us, and then wheel, uh, with this wheel you can move on to the communications room. Uh, I still don't have the code, though. It's kind of like problem. Where would I find this code? Okay, let's, let's take a look at the notes here. We need help. Uh, we're locked away in the lower fort. There's only one alive that knows the code. He made a mad dash out the front entrance, which is where the exit comes in. You're right. I should go back there. I'll go outside, find a manure. Let's be honest, I'm going to find his dead body. I'm going to find his dead body. Take his code. Then I can go down there and save those gentlemen. Okay, I'm just going to save real quick. Probably a good idea. Alright. So then we can go to the exit. Nope, I'm moving to the exit, buddy. Manure, manure, man we. We got Germans. Oh shoot, we got Germans. I got bullets for days, buddy. <laughs> Come at me, bro. You don't stand a chance. Oh, is that Monier? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, ow. Oh, what? That's bullcrap. I shot him. Where are they behind me? It's a good thing I saved before I went out. Okay, I'll put the flashlight away. Come on, Will. Oh my god. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, I am. I got shot. Of course, I'm leaving a blood trail. Ooh, shoot. Okay. There's a German over here. See ya. Get him. German over there. Oh, I missed. Okay. Okay. I need help. Heal me. Oh shoot, that's you were shooting. Okay. 
I see you. Gotcha. Ooh, ow. Can I shoot you from there? What? I totally should. Heck, dude. Get him? Heck, man. Ooh, I am so hurt. Give me this first aid kit. Well, god dang it. You made it. Come. It's living hell out there. Yeah, uh, I already have so many bullets, dude. I wasted all of them. Germans, I won't die. Just got the good stuff. What's up, buddy? You wouldn't have to have any ammo, would you? I know the code for the comms. You need to get back to the fort. Go! Don't worry, I got you. There's a safe room. As long as you aren't stupid. No! No! And, you know, you keep the door closed, you might live, okay? That's all I'm saying. Oh, thank God. We made it. I, I don't know about Please, that Please, into that door. Thank you, soldier. You showed true bravery today. Um, but, uh... I cannot say the same for the rest of my comrades. Ah, uh, it's, it's a little dangerous right there. You have to find them. Get them to safety. Then get the hell out of this crypt. You're gonna die. They're locked in the communications room. In the barracks. Oh, but I doubt they have long left. Give me the go. Listen, the code to get in there is seven, zero, three, zero. Seven three zero. Now go. Get going. Seven zero Find three them. zero. I'll be fine. Please meet me back here with the rest of them. When I get back here, you are going to be one dead man. That's all I'm saying. gonna go good. Yeah? Is he I don't think I gotta get you out of there, buddy. I'm I, No, you're fine. It's okay. No, you're fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry, don't, don't even worry about it. Oh, God. Yeah, nothing to worry about, buddy. Okay, what was it? It was 7030, okay. 7030, okay. Hello? Palio Pals? Pals? Chocolate in here. Yeah, pocket bag. Pally pals? Oh. They all got torn to shreds. There's so many notes. I gotta do more reading? That's the worst part. 
I mean, yeah, I guess you're dead, but I mean, I'm alive, so that's really all that counts, right? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll make it out for all of us. Oh god, what's this reading for? Uh, filled the. This filled with disgust. I'm sorry, Dupont. I had to eat. You would have done the same. No, you wouldn't do that. You're not like me, who is of little faith. I'm a big stomach, but small heart. Lord, grant me a worthy penance, lest you deliver me from what I crave. Fast in my tomb, deprived. Hell be my home forevermore. I cannot go home like this. Forgive me, God. Forgive me, Virgil Dupont, whose keeper am I? My name is Raphael Wazoo, and I have been told the right the, uh, this account of Trembley's madness. I cannot stomach the thought of eating now. If we can find anything, that is. Five days in now. Good thing we'll be dead soon. Hopefully me next. My sales account trapped with... Without hope. I mean, there's a box of chocolates over there. But alright. At this rate, our predicament is as bad as it can get. Three days ago, we barricaded ourselves in the communication room. DuPont, Rizzo, Trembley, Foucher, and myself. We heard the Germans had completely encircled the fort, and any attempts at repelling their advance outside was hopeless. We blocked the door pretty well, but... What's to say they won't realize that our enemies are hiding behind it? There are enemies hiding behind it. I say let them come and try to take us. DuPont thinks we should just surrender, and I insist that he should, knowing the partial crowd in them and all. That he should, know it, uh, knowing the partial crowd in them and all. Of all people with the mess hall, man, Foucher forgot to bring any food or water with him before he blocked off our, our only entrance. Now we are relying on our con on condensation on the walls to get us by. Okay. Uh, going out there for, if anything, is a death sentence. Whose faith could possibly redeem a man from this disaster? The flag? Marcel's last message. To anyone who finds us, this is Marcel de Rouge, uh, the last scribe of this account of our follies. I don't even know what day it is anymore since I've been trapped in here for so long, but I am all alone now. Rizzo died yesterday. Really quiet out there. Guess that means I'm the only one left. Only one, only one way to find out, I suppose. Under normal circumstances, I'd get myself out of this hole if it's the last thing I do, but I must admit that my strength is too far gone to even leave this room. Pathetic, isn't it? Christoph, if you find if you get your hands on this, I'm sorry. I failed you, I failed France. Leave this hell and get yourself back home. Take good care of mother. Your life is worth more than dying in vain in vain pride. Tell them about our, sto our sorry situation so this never ever happens again. If there is a God, help me have faith through this. Au revoir. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing it's goodbye. If I had to guess. Okay. Locked off, that's right. dark. No, keep the flashlight out. Just gonna do this just in case. Just gonna put one the gas mask for, but, uh, oh, well, I think a grenade. Just in case we engage those gosh darn Germans again. Gosh, probably. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Conversation with him before he died, horribly and brutally. 
but okay. some Germans. I guess this is the only place we have to go. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what to do now. Uh. So I gotta get out of here now. So maybe go back the way I came. Try that. All right, stop that bleeding. way. Munitions is this way. I already searched that. Communications is this way. I can't... There's no way out, really. I can't go back. So... What do I do? Trembly. Need help? Is anyone alive who knows the code? Forcing me to mad dash. Can I write the code down? Get this door open. Um, communication behind the gate. Let the bypass the gate. Pantry with this wheel. Communications room. We're counting on you. I don't think I can actually. Get Jesus, Vida. It's gone. I don't think it's physically possible, dude. I'm sorry. Jesus, Vida. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Here is just. Central, oh, wait, hold on. this is Fort Cask. Come in. Here we, go. we need immediate reinforcements. Most of us are dead. There is a demon in this place. Please respond. Over. Uh, yes, we, we are reading you clear, Cass. Communications has been established. Uh, negative. Uh, we are uh, unable to reinforce the fort at this time. Our lines are in disorder enough as it is. Uh, you must make a do with what you have. Over. Please! We will die here if we don't get help. The situation is dire for all of us, Kask. Uh, many more fortresses surrounding Verdun are falling as we speak. Uh, rally any remaining soldiers near your position and make your escape. Verdun must stand at all costs. And we need you here. Over. Roger Dodger. I'll take all my nun bullets with you and help you with uh, as much nunly as I can. Alright, well. I figured I needed that radio for some. Hey, German, you want a defect? That's unfortunate. All right, see you later, dude. Finish this down. Jesus, Vida. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go back and get out the exit. Yeah, 
You'll be fine. Is it? Okay. pretty cool. I like that. That was that was a little longer than I thought it was gonna be. Well that was good. That was good. I like I like the whole bunker. It, it seemed much more like tough than uh well it, it's what you think of bunkers, you know. It's supposed to look like I guess. It, it, what I'm trying to say is the bunker looked more put together and tough. You know kind of more like the fourth that they had that's saying it is instead of uh like the, uh, the the original bunker and the uh, each of the bunker, it's, it's more like some dirt tunnels with some metal on, on the side. This is what it seemed like to me. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That's fun. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Devil's Anvil custom story, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.